deploying a servlet. In the preceding lessons, we discussed about what the servlet is and creating a servlet. Here we will discuss about how to deploy a servlet. To deploy a servlet, we need to have a web server or an application server. There are a lot of web and application servers available. We will deploy our servlet in Apache's Tomcat web server. Let's see the steps involved in deploying a servlet using Tomcat. First, we have to create a web application. Install the Tomcat web server in our system as we discussed earlier. While we install Tomcat, several subdirectories are automatically created under the Tomcat home directory. Now we are seeing all directories. Under this, Web Apps is one of the sub-directories. Under this directory, we have to create our own web application and give it a name as Wings, for example. After creating a web application, we have to copy the contents of WebInf folder, which is located in Root directory under the Web Apps directory. This is copied to our content Web Application folder Wings. Now you can see the directory structure of web application. It has two folders named classes and lib and a deployment descriptor file named web.xml. If it didn't contain these folders, we can create two new folders and name it as classes and lib. Now we are seeing the structure of web apps. Classes folder contains any .class files, i.e. compiled Java servlets. Lib folder contain any .jar files that are needed to deploy the particular web application. Web.xml contains the information needed to deploy the web components in the application. For example, if we take servlet, it contains the definition of the servlet class and the URL mapping of the servlet, etc. JSP pages HTML pages, images or other files that we need for the particular web application. Once we've created a web application, the next step is compiling our source code. Before compiling our servlet, we have to set the class path such that it points to servlet api.jar. Now we have to compile our servlet using the Java compiler. Open the command prompt. Navigate to the folder where we stored the source .java file. Compile our file using Javac, Java compiler. Store the resulting class file in the classes folder in our web application directory, Wings. Before we deploy our servlet, we have to define it in deployment descriptor. Let's have a brief look on deployment descriptor factors. Deployment Descriptor is an XML file, web.xml, where we can give information about the components to be deployed in a server. For example, to deploy a servlet, we have to define the servlet and we also have to give the servlet mappings. Here is the code showing the servlet definition in web.xml file. Here, Hello World is the name of the servlet and the name of the servlet class. The code for servlet mappings in web.xml file will be like this. Here hello world is the name of the servlet and the forward slash hello is the URL pattern to see the output. We will discuss about the deployment descriptor in detail in the next lesson. Well, now we have come to the last step, which is deploying a servlet. First, start the server, and let us see the steps to start the Tomcat server. Click the Start button, go to Settings, click Control Panel, choose Administrative Tools, and then click on Services. Here is the Services window that displays all the services currently available on our operating system. Select the Apache Tomcat service on the Services window. Click the Start Service icon on our toolbar. 
Now the Tomcat server has started. There are two other ways available to start the server. First, in the Taskpad Navigation tab, click Extended. By default, it is extended. And then Extended Services window will appear. In that window, on the left side of the Services list, we are able to see the name of the selected service, in this case, Apache Tomcat, and below that some links are available. Click the Start link to start the service. In the second way, just right-click the corresponding service name and select Start to start the service. Check whether the server is running or not by typing this link in the address bar of the browser. If Tomcat server is started, then we are able to see the home page of Apache Tomcat server. Otherwise, it replies an error page. Type this link in the browser. We will see the output as Hello World. Here, HTTP colon double forward slash localhost colon 8080 forward slash refers to the Tomcat server. It's installed in the local host at port number 8080. Wings is the web application name and forward slash hello is the URL pattern which maps to our servlet. After we've finished our deployment, we have to stop the server as the same ways we can start the server. Either by clicking the Stop Service button of the toolbar in the Services window, or by right-clicking the Apache Tomcat service and then select Stop, or by clicking the Stop on the left side of the Services list below Apache Tomcat. Well, now we've created and deployed a servlet. To avoid confusion on copying our class files of the servlet to the Classes folder in our Web Application Directory, save our source file in the Classes folder itself. Then, once we've compiled our source file, the class file was automatically created in the same folder. Now we don't have to worry about the class files.